We in this thing? Ugh. Oh, what? <laughs> Ay. Wait. Ay. Okay, what's up guys? It's your girl Mitch and I'm back at it again with another video. I know it's been a minute, but guess what? So I actually had two videos that I was gonna record before this video that I'm recording right now, but bro, my memory card erased and I lost footage for both videos. The footage is gone and it cannot be retrieved and I have to move on. So that's what I'm doing today with this next video. Today's video is going to be a weight loss video. If you know me, you probably noticed I've lost a couple of pounds, but for those of you guys who don't know me, I have lost a grand total of 72, 73-ish pounds over the course period of some time. And today in this video, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about how I did that. You know, I'm just a regular girl. I'm just a normal, a normal girl from town, you know? I did not get a trainer. I did not do keto. I did not do intermittent fasting. I, all that crazy stuff I just didn't do. So like keto, what can I eat? You know, but like I just didn't want to get into that. So I just did like really just normal stuff. So if you're watching this and you're trying to lose some weight, I got you. Like I'm a regular person. I did this the regular way, all natural. Nothing that y'all cannot do. I guess I should just go, I should just start off by you know, talking about my weight. May 7th of 2018, I was a grand total of 235 pounds. Today, I am a grand, oh today, I should probably say the, the day. Today is December 28th and I am, oh, I don't wanna tell my weight, but like I have to. <laughs> um, I'm 163 pounds. So in total, I lost 72 pounds. And you know, I never, I didn't even really think anything of it. It just it all just kind of happened. You know, over time I didn't, I just, I just, just kept on going. I wasn't even realizing that it was all adding up. I feel like any information helps. So I'm just gonna put this out here just to let you guys know what I did. I've, I've pretty much been big like my whole life. Like, not my whole life, like K through kindergarten through sixth, seventh grade. I was about like a regular weight for a chilled child. Eighth grade all the way up to like sophomore year of college. That's when I was like really beefy, you know? And I just kind of was tired of that, you know? I was just like, I'm tired of walking into a room and just being the biggest person there. Like, I don't know if anyone else does that, but like me at that, when I was at that point in my life, I would walk into a room and I would just look around and I'd be like, I see how these girls in their crop tops and everybody just looking normal. And then there's just me. I was basically built like the mutated Powerpuff girl, you know, the regular three Powerpuff girls. And then you know how they had that sister who was just mutated. That's how I felt. I just felt like some type of mutated Powerpuff girl everywhere I went. So I was like, oh, I really don't like that. Like that's just kind of annoying. And like, it was really hard for me to buy clothes. Like I like to shop a lot online, go to the store and like, you know, I, those skinny people stuff would be on sale for like nine, ten dollars. You know when you go to Forever 21, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you go to Forever 21 or Charlotte Roos and you're on that clearance rack, you'd be finding cute stuff for like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. But that doesn't happen for plus size people. The stuff that was on sale was hideous, like polka dot butterfly. It's like, bro, just because I'm huge doesn't mean I don't want to look good. Like, what is this? And then the cute stuff that they had were so expensive. I will never forget the day I was at the mall with my friends. This is probably what made me even want to lose weight, actually. So we went to the mall and everyone went to this one store. And right off the bat, everyone was finding stuff. Everybody was finding stuff. All my friends are like tiny, so they were all finding stuff, whatever. And I was the only one who didn't find anything. I didn't find anything at that store. And then as we kept on going throughout the store, everyone was getting stuff. And you know, I was like, okay, maybe I'll find something at another store. Maybe I'll find another store. Bro, they did not have my size in the store. I went to Forever 21, where I thought I was gonna find something, still didn't find anything. 
So then I finally went to Charlotte Russe and they actually had a plus size at that store. I was digging, mind you, especially me, I'm, I'm on a budget. So I'm trying to look for something cute and something cheap. So I finally find something cute and I noticed that I found that same shirt in like regular size and that shirt was on sale. The regular size shirt was on sale, but the plus size shirt was full price. So I was like, okay, maybe it's like a little mix up. I'm gonna take it to the counter and I'm gonna see like what's up with it. So I took it to the counter and they were just like, oh yeah, no, only this one's gonna be on sale, not this one. Like they basically said the plus size shirt was full price. And I'm like, why? They're the exact same shirt. And like, oh, I guess, I don't know, cause like they use more fabric to make this shirt. So like, yeah, you would have to pay full price. I was so sad. Not only did I not find anything, the thing that I did find was full price just because I was a little chunky. Like that was not fair. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm tired. Like I was tired already to begin with, but that was like the last straw. I was like, bro, it really shouldn't be that hard to buy stuff. And I used to whine about it, but it's like, at the end of the day, if you can't beat them, join them. You can't beat the skinny people. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I was just tired. I was like, you know, that's not really how I want to continue this life that I'm living. Sorry, you know, we in a pandemic, is anything even real anymore? I kind of want to change or whatever. But like, you know, I've always been in and out of the gym. Throughout the summers, I would go to like my local YMCA and I just walk on a treadmill just to say, cause my parents used to really be on us about it. Like y'all need to, y'all can't be in the house all day playing on your phone, you need to go out and do something. So we would just go and walk on the treadmill. But like, we were just doing that to satisfy our parents. We were, we did not care. But you know, I knew it was a problem because I, it was a problem. Like I couldn't even find my size in the store. I was const I was just uncomfortable with myself. Like, I don't know, like I was always adjusting myself, trying to cover my fat and everything. Like, you know, like I said, every time I went into a room, I was the biggest person in the room. It was just really uncomfortable. You know, my university, they have like shuttle buses that basically um, pick you up from your apartment or dorm. There's like a bus stop and then I'll take you to the campus from there. So like, I was really uncomfortable because I was like really big. So like, I was really big to the point where I couldn't even fit in one seat. Like I would take up like a seat and a half. And like, you know, normal bus operating, it wouldn't be a problem because like everyone would be spaced out. But say the bus was packed, it would be kind of awkward because it's like, are you in a seat or are you not? Like you're taking up like a seat and a half, damn your two seats. That was really awkward. It's only one summer, I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm gonna lose some weight, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it for real this time. And this time I was like, okay, I'm gonna be quiet about it. Because like, you know, anytime you tell people, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym for real, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in the gym for real. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, like no one actually, even my parents didn't believe me. They were just like, cause you know, every summer it's the same thing. It's just like, you go to the treadmill, you walk, and then you, that's it. You just fall off and you're not serious. But I was like, no, I'm actually fed up. I'm actually serious. Like. Tired of being the biggest person in the room. Um, tired of not being able to find my my size in the store. Tired of just having to live with everything. I was just uncomfortable, constantly having to adjust myself. Cause like, you know, I'd have a shirt, my fat would be falling out from the side, and it'd be like, how long has my fat been hanging out? You know, that's kind of awkward. That's enough about that. So I'm just gonna get right into it or whatever. So I, like I said, I went from 235 pounds to 163 pounds. So that 235 pounds, that was May of 2018. And then 163 pounds is current present day, December 28th, 2020. But by the time I post this, it's probably gonna be New Year's because of editing and whatnot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get straight into it. Like, how did I do it? So first things first, how I did it, I did like a little sneak attack. Like, I didn't go around telling people like, hey, I'm about to be at the gym. Like, y'all come meet me at the gym. Like, no, I'm gonna be really quiet about it. I'm gonna let other people point it out. I'm not gonna say anything. I kind of didn't really believe in myself. So, you know, just how I've always been in and out of the gym. I was just like, okay, well, you know, let's see how long this lasts. Maybe this won't even be for real. More of a for me thing. I was just like, I'm just gonna keep this down low just in case. Like, if it backfires, it won't be as awkward because no one's gonna know because I didn't tell anybody or it could be you know I'm actually putting in work and then you know people are actually noticing so it could have went either way but it's best if y'all don't tell anybody if you want you can tell a couple of your friends and they can help you out but I was just kind of it was kind of a solo dolo thing so I was just like mm, it's best I not tell anybody okay I'm gonna talk about my eating habit <laughs> do I have a lot to say about that so basically, like I said, the whole weight just became a problem because I was always big, like I said, in high school. But in college, you know, freshman, for normal people, it was freshman 15, but for me, it was probably freshman 30 because it was a lot different. Like, you know, I'm not living under my parents' roof where they dictate what I eat and when I eat. I was in a college dorm. I could do whatever the crap I want. You know, I had a meal plan. Bro, that meal plan really just forked me up. I didn't have any money, so the meal plan was pretty much 
hot meals already paid for. Like you would just have your card and you could use it for access at the dining hall. You know, dining hall is basically like a buffet. It's basically like a golden corral, but like a couple notches under because that food really sucked. So I barely went to the cafe. I, if you don't go to the cafe, you can use your card and you can do this thing called meal trades where you exchange a meal at the dining cafe for like fast food that they had at the food court. So they had Chick-fil-A, Steak and Shake, Papa John's, Subway. You get the gist, like they had all the main stuff. Basically what I would do is after class, it don't matter if I had a good class and I understood what the professor was saying or if it was a bad day and I was just very frustrated. I would always just reward myself just for getting out of bed and going to class. I would just reward myself with a hot meal from Chick-fil-A. And let me tell you, I would get the spicy chicken sandwich with large fries. And then that wasn't enough to get a drink. So they had soda machines. I was drinking soda at the time. I was down bad, yes. And then, I, I didn't stop there. I would go to the subway, because there's a subway right across from Chick-fil-A, and I would order three to four chocolate chip cookies. So imagine eating that every single day. I kid you not. Like I said, I'm a picky eater, so there's only a few things that kind of do it for me. Chick-fil-A is what did it for me. I was eating Chick-fil-A every single day. Every single day. Occasionally, I'd switch it up, and I'd go to Papa John's, and I'd get a personal pizza. I was not exercising, and on top of that, like when I first moved in, went to Sam's Club, and you know Sam's Club, they sell like big boxes of everything, so you wanna know what I moved in with? I had Big Texas, a huge personal box of Big Texas for myself, huge personal box of honey buns for myself, huge personal box of animal crackers for myself, huge personal box of fruit snacks for myself, and pizza rolls. Did I get everything? Long story short, not one person should not have access to all that. And I had a whole snack drawer full of all these snacks. And when I would be bored, I would just roll over. <laughs> I would roll over and grab like a Big Texas. And then once I ate all the Big Texas, I was like, oh man, I ate all the Big Texas. Then I would eat um, honey buns. I'm like, oh, I ate all the honey buns. I had juice for days. Like I was already eating Chick-fil-A as like my main meal. And then for snacks in between, I was eating honey buns and Big Texas and animal crackers throughout the day not what's up y'all we're not supposed to be doing that but like i said it was like freshman year i had freedom i could eat whatever i wanted to eat whenever i wanted to eat i was just basically abusing that so i would say if your eating habits are anything similar to that if you eat whatever you want to eat if you eat fast food every day every other day we're gonna have to just stop that right here if you want to lose this kind of weight you can lose it i'm telling you like, it sounds really stupid i know like really fake motivational and everything but i'm serious like I just wish y'all knew me in real life because you would know like Michelle, like a whole Michelle doing this. Like, bro, if I can do it, y'all can do it. I've never been the fitness type. I, I still am not actually. Like when we get to the workout part, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But like, it's just minor, minor cuts here and there. Cause like I said, I didn't do keto. I didn't do intermittent fasting. I, I didn't get a trainer. Like I just did it the regular, regular way. So you can do it but it's just gonna be little cuts here and there that it just has to be done. So fast food, unfortunately, is gonna have to go, but not completely. You know, a lot of people like to say, oh, cut out fast food completely. No cold turkey, no fast food. That's not true. It's okay. If you want some fast food, you still can, but it's a matter of how frequent you're eating it. Like, you know, eating fast food every day? Like, no, we're not gonna do that. No fast food every day, I'm so sorry. The juice, the juice has to go. If you're drinking soda or juice, Go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna have to slowly move over to water. So here's how I see it. Cause at first I was drinking soda. Then I leveled down to juice and lemonade and then I eventually cut it off and it's just, I just drink straight water. Very, very, very rarely. Even when we go to, even when I go out to restaurants, I still just drink water. Um, eventually, you know, I'll get a little mimosa here and there, but it's mainly gonna be water, guys. You gotta let that juice go. Lots of water. If you are not drinking enough water, this is not going to work. So I really need y'all to put down the juicy juice and start drinking the Wadi Wad. Juice has so much sugar in it and you don't even realize it and it's unnecessary sugar. Like you really don't need it. And you know, it sounds, it seems hard at first, but like you can, you can do it. If you're drinking soda, just get rid of soda and drink juice. If you're drinking juice, you know, switch over to low calorie juice. Uh, Minute Maid, they have this 15 calorie juice. It's only 15 calories and like, three to five grams of sugar, but that's like way better than the original juice that has like 24 to 30 grams of sugar. Let's start cutting things out, let's start substituting. If you if you must drink soda, let's just try to get away from soda, okay? Let's try to move to juice. And when we move to juice, let's not keep that regular juice, let's move it to like the sugar-free, low-fat, low-calorie juice. 
it doesn't taste as bad. And if if you must, must, because I know some people that just must have juice. Like, if you must, must, must have juice, this 15 calorie juice is just, it, it will get the job done. Try not to eat fast food every day. I highly recommend getting an air fryer. That actually helped out a lot. It still has the same like feeling and crispiness of like actual fried food, but like, you know, at restaurants and fast food places, they deep fry your stuff and your stuff is just sitting in deep hot oil and grease and then they take it out, your stuff was soaking in that grease and then you just eat it and then, hey, it tastes divine. But over time, you know, it kind of adds up, builds your cholesterol and all that and it adds to your fat. What you want to do is you want to try to get an air fryer. Air fryer will cut that grease and oil I wanna say in half, but I actually wanna say less than half. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but the air fryer will significantly reduce all that oil that goes into your food because it's being fried with heat and air instead of like deep fried with grease. So I recommend getting an air fryer because like, I don't cook like that, guys. Um, you can meal prep. I never really took the meal prep way because like eating the same thing in a row for like a week didn't really sit well with me. I discovered how to make salmon and potatoes and that's a healthy meal and it's actually really good, especially for a picky eater like me. But like, you know, that's kind of the only meal that I mastered. So, you know, eventually I have to switch it up. So I'll go to the store and I would get like Tyson, Anytizer, Wings, like, cause I like Wingstop a lot, but like, like I said, they deep fry their stuff. So it's like, you can just get some Anytizer wings and put them in an the air fryer and that can be like a substitution, you know? Find like stuff that you want to eat, but let's make it via air fryer so that it cuts down the grease more than half because that's where i'm at right now i don't really eat out like that and it's not even on purpose it's like you won't even realize it like once you get that air fryer bro you're gonna start making everything in that air fryer you're not even gonna miss eating out the only reason why i even eat out to this day is because like i'm a college student so you know if we're bored but hey i want to go get drinks blah, blah 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 which brings me to my next subject if you're a college kid if you're 21 and up you want to cut out the alcohol now i'm not saying completely because everybody likes to party but i'm saying let's not not every weekend, maybe like once every other week. Heck, maybe even once a month if you know everything's going right and you wanna reward yourself. Because alcohol kinda, it kinda contributes to the weight, you know? You kinda wanna cut that out. So we're gonna try to reduce fast food. I already offered the suggestion of the air fryer. Please get an air fryer. I, I feel like that helps out a lot because like I said, you can still have, like let's say you like chicken tenders. I mean, I like chicken tenders, I like chicken nuggets, I like all that. But, you know, it's deep fried at the restaurant. You get yourself an air fryer, go to the store, Walmart, Target, Kroger. Me, I alternate, sometimes I get popcorn chicken, I get spicy popcorn chicken, I get um, wings. Make sure you're reading the nutrition facts. It will still satisfy your cravings for the fast food, but at half the calories. I just tried to make sure I ate, cause you know you're supposed to eat three meals a day, but like, come on, does anyone really do that for breakfast? Very weird, but I would eat a boiled egg. It's pretty healthy and it's not that bad. So I would have a boiled egg with yogurt for breakfast. But you know, you can also do a granola bar with yogurt, something small for breakfast just to hold you. And then for lunch, I'm on campus during lunchtime, so I can't really eat anything like that. I would just pack, once again, more healthy snacks to just eat throughout the day. So like grapes, apples, oranges, granola bars, crackers, like these. I don't want to bring out the whole box. Y'all gonna be like, dang, all that's for you. But I like these Austin peanut butter crackers here. So I'll eat that with like a granola bar and some water set for dinner. If you want to air fry something or you can make salmon and potatoes, it's very easy. Salmon is one of the easiest fishes you can cook. I am not a cook. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a girl and I can't cook. I said it. And I don't like to cook anyways because I'm always on the move and I just don't have the patience for it. But salmon is something that you can actually work with. So go to the store, y'all. Get you some salmon, get you some potatoes. So simple and it's so good. You're just gonna dice the potatoes up, cook the salmon in whatever seasoning you want. I'm, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. That's how I learned because like I said, I'm not no iron chef. I can't cook to save my life. But there's so many easy recipes that you can look up on how to make salmon and potatoes and hey i never got tired of that they have like light air fry i can put a picture of it because i can't i don't remember the name of it but they have like you know low fat reduced make sure look at the serving size y'all because you don't want to overeat like you're eating healthy but then you're overeating the healthy so it's like there's no point in what you're doing the point is for you to be satisfied not full you know and if you're satisfied and you get hungry later you can always snack a little bit and another thing that i did 
was I incorporated this green smoothie made from scratch, y'all. I'm so sorry, I don't like, I don't wanna get attacked, but I really don't like vegetables, I'm so sorry. They're kinda nasty and they smell gross. Your intake in green, so you can't just try to lose weight, you don't eat vegetables. I never ate a salad for my life, guys. I probably ate a salad twice and I threw up on the second time, so I never ate a salad again. So that's where this green smoothie comes in handy. Let me show you guys how it looks. It's like a juice, smoothie slash juice. And so basically what is inside of it is kale, spinach, apple cider vinegar, pineapples, flax seeds, great for digestion and to get the bowels going, water, and honey. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Go ahead and blend them all in, and I feel like that really contributed to the weight loss as well, because like I said, I wasn't eating salads before, I wasn't getting enough greens and fiber in, so this smoothie pretty much just has everything in it. Kale has its benefits, all these random vitamins that are good for you, I don't know. Spinach has all these vitamins that are good for you. Pineapples, flax seeds are great for digestion, because you know, you eat in the wrong foods, it's very easy for you to get constipated and bloated, and then that's where the weight comes in. This is not your cute little Jamba Juice Smoothie King smoothie, no. Let's just say it's like a step up from drinking straight up apple cider vinegar. I really want to show you guys how I make it because there's a certain way on how to do it, but like I don't have enough time to squeeze all that in this video. I would love to make a separate video on how I do this and the ingredients and everything and the amount, but like y'all gotta let me know. I don't wanna drop this whole video. I don't wanna make a whole video about the smoothie and no one cares, so. Just let me know. Like, you heard all the stuff I listed. It's not gonna taste like Jamba Juice. It is not gonna taste like smoothie cake. Find some time in your day to squeeze in the smoothie. Try to drink it in the morning. I'll drink it along with my breakfast or drink it along with your lunch. I wouldn't recommend it as a meal replacement because like, it's not gonna fill you up. Like, it's just supposed to be something to sip on the side. Please guys, don't put pressure on yourself. Don't put goals on yourself. Just go with the flow. I guess we got all the food and drinks out the way, now I can get into my workout. Since I didn't have such an aggressive diet, cause I really did not diet that hard. Like I told y'all, all I did was cut out the junk snacks and I stopped eating fast food every day. And I replaced it with like, you know, air fry food. Um, I made my own food. I'm Nigerian, so I have rice and stew. I was eating at home. You know how you'd be asking your mom, can we go get food, but there's rice at home. That's what I would do to myself. Eating from home a lot eating inside the house. You can always go on YouTube and look up recipes that you think that you would like and you can cook and prepare those. But just try to stay off the fast food, you know? So I feel like the working out was probably what did all the work for me cause like I didn't diet that hard. I never weighed my food. I never cut, you know, people, oh, it's cutting season. Whatever that, I don't even know what that means to this day. It was the gym that really did it for me. Don't get scared guys, I'm not a gym rat. I'm not a gym shark. So when I first started, I really was just so scared. I was like, Ugh, everyone's gonna be looking at me. I promise you, no one is looking at you. No one is worried about you. At the gym, everyone just really minds their own business. You eventually get more and more comfortable at the gym. You'll realize that no one is worried about you. And don't wait for anybody either. Cause you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I wanna get a personal trainer. You don't need a personal trainer. So I, I just sucked it up and I went by myself and I was so confused, I had nowhere to go. Start off very simple. What I started off doing was I walked on the treadmill on incline. A range between eight to 12, whatever works for you. But just, cause you know, this is how a regular treadmill is. Just you run flat, but you put it on incline. So you're like walking, it's like you're walking up on a hill. You're actually doing something. I didn't run. You don't have to start off running. You don't have to do that. Just walk on incline for like 40 to 50 minutes. Just simply walking on incline. You don't even have to run. And I didn't know anything about weights and I was too big to run. For I feared that I would break the treadmill. And after I would walk on incline, I would try to do machines. Like, you know, you would see the, the machines, so I'll do like the hip abductor, you know when you sit down and you're like opening and closing your legs, or like the arm machines, because I wasn't ready for free weights, I didn't know what I was doing, so whatever you guys want to work on after that, just make sure you get that cardio in, because the cardio is very important for the beginning stages, because that's how you get all the weights to fall off. Just find whatever machines you want, if you want to work on your arms, if you want to work on your butt, just find machines, and you don't even need to know what you're doing. The machines have instructions, so you know, before I would get on it, I would just read it, to see like what to, what to do with it. Or I would just literally go on YouTube real quick and type in the name of the machine and then it would just show me how to do it. So once I noticed that I lost some weight or whatever, when I got around like 195, that's when I wrapped it up, the whole walking on incline thing and I started like walking regular. But I started squeezing in some jog. You can do it, it just takes time. So like I said, start off walking on incline, regular on the treadmill and then when you get 
comfortable enough, you can start running. Not even running, jogging. Walk for like five to 10 minutes, and then just eventually just squeeze in a little jogging in there because like over time it'll build up. Like you'll start off at running for two minutes, and then you'll be like, okay, I wanna do three minutes. Okay, I wanna do five. Okay, seven. Okay, 10. Like it, it's gonna add up, I promise you. So when I got to around 195 pounds, that's when I started trying to figure out like, how I'm going to squeeze in some jogging and some running. And then I also started squeezing in the Stairmaster. It hurts on your legs, but it, it really helps with the toning and you also burn lots of calories on that Stairmaster. And the Stairmaster is pretty tough. I can't even do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'll do my treadmill for like 30 minutes and then I'll do like 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. Like I said, does, does that sound hard guys? It's really simple. I, I'm not even doing any weird gym stuff. Like just walking on incline, Stairmaster and machines, whatever machines, whatever target area you want to work on. So I was worried about the wrong thing. I was worried about my butt. Like, girl, worry about this gut first before you start worrying about this butt. But, you know, I was using the hip abductor, the leg machines, um, the machines that make you kick your leg back. Like, you know how you stand and you kick your leg back? Um, machines like that, they focus on legs and butts. That's what I was doing. So if you want to focus on arms, it's fine because you know as you're losing weight you're gonna have like flab so you want to incorporate some machines to tighten up your skin i'm gonna do a weight loss trilogy part one of the trilogy is just gonna be me talking about the story which is what i just did right now then part two is just gonna be eating habits like showing you guys what i eat in the day showing y'all how i make my smoothie because that smoothie is gonna help y'all out a lot i promise you as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make a separate video with everything that i eat the key takeaway point from this whole video because i feel like i just been bouncing all over the place i'm so sorry if i didn't cover everything this video just please let me know in the comments below and I will cover it in my next video I'm gonna make another video with my food and everything and I'm gonna make another video with my workouts I work out five times a week I'm off on the weekend I feel like I deserve some off days or whatever so I don't work out on the weekends unless I have to make up so let's say I was bubbing around and I messed up and I didn't go to the gym one day I would have to make up for it on Saturday or Sunday so yeah I really only work out five times a week for at least an hour to an hour and 30 minutes I just do cardio for like about 30 to 35 minutes and then I do weights for 30 to 35 minutes as well. Like I said, I started off with the machines, but I eventually worked my way up to free weights. So now I'm, I'm out there on the squatting machine, I'm doing lunges with the weights on my hands. I do hip thrusts. You will lose weight, you'll see results. You just have to be very patient. Don't compare yourself to anybody because I'll see other people who lost more weight than me in a short amount of time, but it's like their body's different and they're doing something different. Why are you worried about the next person? Eyes on your own paper. Have to be consistent. That is a huge thing. You have to be consistent. You can't go to the gym for one week and then you fall off another two weeks and then you're ready to go back to the gym another week. No, you can't do that. It has to be consistent. We need to go to the gym every week. The next video is going to be all my food and diet stuff. This is just like the basics, just brushing over everything. Be consistent. Don't be trying to go to the gym one week, one week you die, one week you are, you're confusing yourself, you're confusing your body, and now you're beefing with yourself. You don't want that to happen. I hope I covered everything in this video. If not, please just let me know. I'm still new to this. I'm just trying to get the hang of it. I'm literally just flopping all over the place. But like I said, I'm going to have another video where I'm showing you step by step how I make my smoothie. And I'm going to have another video where I'm showing you guys my workouts. So if I didn't cover it in this video, I will eventually cover it in another video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And like I said, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. I will get to them. Thank you guys so much for being pay pay with me. Patient. And I will get back with you guys in another video in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.